discuss resistivity of alloy how it vary with temperature so variation of resistivity of alloy with the temperature we are going to discuss here is the graph showing the variation of resistivity rho with temperature t for nichrome wire we can see that as the temperature increases the resistivity of the alloy slowly increases and it is increasing linearly. Secondly, we are going to discuss resistivity of semiconductor means how the resistivity of the semiconductor vary with temperature. This is the graphical representation showing the variation of resistivity with temperature for semiconductor germanium or silicon. We know that resistance R is equal to ML by N e square tau A. Now here we see two factors, one is N, another is tau. In semiconductor, with the increase in temperature, N increases. N is the number of free electrons per unit volume. This factor rises. At the same time, the relaxation time tau, that is the collision time between the different particles that will also decrease. Now, one factor increases which causes the decrease in resistance as well as resistivity. Another factor decreases which causes the increase in the resistivity. With the increase in N, R decreases, but with the decrease in tau, R increases. Actually, the increase in N is very much larger in comparison to decrease in tau in a semiconductor with certain rise in temperature. That's why the factor N is more effective than the factor tau. This is the reason that in a semiconductor, with the increase in temperature, the resistivity of the semiconductor decreases. Next is resistivity of electrolytes. Resistivity of electrolytes. Now for electrolytes, we see that with the increase in temperature, the resistivity of the electrolyte decreases. The reason is with the rise in temperature, the viscosity of the electrolytes decreases. So the ions get more freedom to move in the electrolyte. Hence the resistivity of the electrolyte decreases. So you understand the resistivity, variation of resistivity of three different types of material like alloy, like semiconductor and electrolyte with temperature. Once again I repeat, when we consider the alloy, then drawing the graph of variation of resistivity with temperature, we get this type of graph, which state that with the increase in temperature, the resistivity of the alloy increases slowly. Secondly, we see resistivity of the semiconductor. Resistivity depends on resistance, all of you know, and resistance are equal to ML by N e square tau A, where N is the number of free electrons per unit volume and tau is the relaxation time, that is the interval of time between the two successive collisions. With the increase in temperature, what we see, N increases, tau decreases, but the rate at which N increases is very much larger in comparison to the rate in which tau decreases. So its effect in changing the resistance is more. That's why the resistivity of semiconductor decreases with the increase in temperature. Next is resistivity of the electrolytes. As I told that resistivity of the electrolytes also decreases with the rise in temperature. The reason is that with the rise in temperature, the viscosity of the electrolytes decreases. So the ions get more freedom to move 
inside the electrolyte hence the resistivity of the electrolyte decreases now let us understand color coding of resistance color coding of resistance let me tell you first that resistance which is available in the market that we use in various electrical and electronic circuit is very small and it is very difficult to write its value which varies in a wide range on the body of this resistor so we use color coding we use three different colored ring and this is the fourth ring that may or may not be there now each color indicate a particular value for example first we write 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this 9 digits we write 0 means it is black okay the number 0 indicate black 1 is brown brown r is 2 is red 3 is orange 4 is yellow and 5 is represented by green 5 is represented by green 6 represent blue 6 represent blue 7 represent violet then 8 represent grey and 9 represent white ok so these are the color which indicate this digits these are the code of resistance we want now this is the first color dream this is the second colored ring, this is the third colored ring, this is the fourth colored ring. Now in the fourth colored ring, it can be gold, silver or no color. Fourth ring, it can be gold, silver or no color. So gold, it indicates the tolerance which is it can be 5%, 10%, 20%, 5%, 10%, 20% $20 dollars. Now, suppose a particular resistance has the color code first ring black, second ring orange, third ring green, and fourth ring silver. So, first color ring indicate first significant figure second color indicate second significant figure and third color indicate the power of 10 for example suppose brown brown is the first color let us take so first significant figure is 1 second is orange that is 1 3 and third indicate the power of 10 which is green that is 5 and fourth tolerance that is plus minus 10 percent so this will be the resistance of this particular register so remember the color of first ring indicate first significant figure color of second ring represents second significant figure and the color of third ring indicate the power of 10 and the silver it is giving the tolerance which is plus minus 10 percent 